नमो तस् भगवत अर्हत सबुदस् नमो तस् भगवत अर्हत सबुदस् नमो तस् भगवत अर्हत सबुदस् Homage to the fully enlightened one, the worthy one, the blessed one. Dear friends in Dhamma, today I would like to discuss with you very important relationship in our family life. There are many relationships as human beings we have to establish, continue. and also support in order to uh, protect our family protect the society to have a better citizen so today i would like to discuss the role of the parents how you can be a good positive very useful parents for your children of course most of the parents think that because their children are born from their flesh and blood they think their children belongs to them and their children as their property and also they think that they can maintain they can uh, take care of the children as they like and they also can uh, take the responsibility of the children and present and modern parents do uh, try to do their best for the children at the same time they are trying to have a bigger control over the children but uh, buddhism doesn't view in this way he, every human being is a unique uh, individual and every human ha- being has their own potentials they have inherited from the samsara different kinds of tendencies Uh, different types of habits uh, different types of merits so even though children are born from the parents uh, they are part and parcel of the parents life but we have to consider we have to rethink that our children are cannot or oh, we cannot have a control over them so they have their own separate individual and identical personality so it it is there is a two way to uh, look at uh, your children one way to look at your children as your property the second way is to look at your children they come into your world you got a blessing you got the chance you you got to you got a opportunity to live with them and help them to cherish their own dreams uh, help them to follow their own passion help them to achieve life targets as they wish and as they like but most of the parents today's world are trying to uh uh trying to get done or trying to achieve whatever the dreams they have failed to achieve during their childhood therefore they try to uh, see their dreams fulfilled through their children so this is this is not the way to see uh, at a child so if you understand he is a separate individual he has a separate personality then we can embrace 
we can accept the differences and especially the parents are having enormous amount of troubles stresses difficulties during the teen years or adolescent years of the children therefore it is very important for us to give them a autonomy a kind of independence at the same time have uh, some sort of control some sort of uh, uh, regulation of their lives in a way that is not harmful and not a uh, detriment to the children's growth so buddha said the putta vattu manusana the the highest treasure the highest blessing for parents to have is the uh, treasure of the children because if if the parents were asked they have enormous amount of wealth one side and their children other side what do you want to take from the what do you want to choose from these two things they will choose their children because they think their children as the most precious valuable wealth this is how the ch- parents are thinking about their children and at the same time the parents also want them to uh, understand that uh, because they have less experience because they have not mature enough the parents guidance parents examples are essential for the children's uh, personality building up so buddha said if you want to have a good children it is not by giving good advice you can uh, tame them you can guide them but setting very exemplary very uh, role model behaviors for the children if the parents are taking drugs then the children will used to take drugs because they will see that it is normal it is okay there is nothing wrong with that and the children will also follow that and similarly if the parents are doing uh, when they are talking they speak harsh words and they criticize the other neighbors or friends then the children will also learn all this so it is inevitable if the parents do not set up better or good examples for the children to follow otherwise the parents will do not give a good example for their children and they will uh, lose their uh, motivation they will lose their examples from parents and they will follow bad example so passing the values to the children is very important so it can be done through not through preaching but through the example as i said before so in singalo vada sutta many packs that parents should uh, st- uh, when they are building up the children's early stage of the life what are the priorities for the parents to uh, do the first thing buddha explain in the singalavada sutta papa nivareti you have to uh, refrain make them refrain from evil wicked cruel unwholesome bad actions bad thoughts and bad speech papa means here unrighteous unwholesome unskillful deeds so nowadays parents think most important thing for children to give education is the most and foremost important for the children's life there is no doubt that but the priority should be given at the earliest stage of the children's uh, uh, growth to re- um, teach them what are the bad things what are the wrong things what are the 
uh, inappropriate things to do, inappropriate things to speak, inappropriate things to think. So in a such a way, if you explain these things, uh, you can uh, set a good example for the children to know, okay, if I do this, this is very harmful. If I do that, that is very uh, bad for my life, for my neighbors, for our family, for our reputation. So children will learn that doing bad things is not good. And secondly, it is not only you allow them to refrain from doing bad things. The duty of the parents will not stop there. The parents has to encourage their children to do positive, active, useful, very wholesome actions in their life. So values such as sharing things in the family, in the friend circle, with the relatives, with the neighbors, and also cultivating kindness, compassion, and love towards the other human beings, towards other sentient beings. So in a such a way, you can inculcate good values to the children's mind. So that is why it is very important for children to send to Sunday Dhamma schools, bring them to children, give exposure, give exposure to the uh, religious values, religious activities, social services, any other uh, good manner behavior should be encouraged. So most of the parents are very stingy of phrasing their children. So if you want to bring up uh, very good children, you should praise them when they are doing good things. You need to give uh, positive reinforcement, such as giving gifts, giving rewards, giving appreciation, giving gold stars, and praising them in front of the neighbors, friends, relatives. In a such a way, if you encourage your children to uh, appreciate their positive, well-mannered behavior, that will encourage them to do more and more uh, good things. But now, um, the problem with the, our society is that when a child is uh, reached to an age of adolescence, he might have heard the word, no, 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 you can't do this, you can't do that. It is impossible. This kind of negative messages are said to a child more than 5 lakhs or 500,000. But positive things, yes, you can do this, you do this, you do that. This kind of uh, positive messages are given to children is very rare, very limited. Therefore, this type of uh, appreciation for the good behavior is really important for children to uh, grow very positive qualities in their character, in their life. And third responsibility of the parents is to teach them uh, skills, the trades, uh, languages, knowledge, all these should be come to the third responsibility of the parents, that is to give them a proper uh, education. So today's uh, world, the children are given only academic education. They don't know how to use or change, maybe if the electric bulb was burnt, they don't know how to change the bulb. If a tap is broken, they don't know how to change, uh, reinstall a tap. So most of the education is centered around academic and non-active theoretical knowledge. 
So, Buddha said, Bahu Satchancha Sippancha. It is very important to learn, acquire, develop many skills, many trades, many professional skills. Bahu Satchancha. That got to know many things and also practically you know how to do them. So, this practical education is very important uh, for them to have a proper good life uh, to achieve. That is called the giving a good proper education. The third one, the fourth one is Dayajam Patipaj. The parent has to give inheritance. So, there are two types of inheritance in the world. One is material, physical, wealth, uh, your gold jewelries, jewelries, houses, properties, cars, and all these material things can be inherited. That is the duty of the parents to give when it's right time, give them uh, their earnings and whatever. But uh, nowadays there's a tendency, once they get the parents' properties and all that, they will kick out the parents. This is not good. This is really bad. Some parents have to live in the bus stops. Some parents live in the sheds or old age homes because the children do not want to look after their children, look after the needs of the parents. Therefore, this inheritance has another aspect. Uh, children need to inherit the parents' good values, good qualities. So, passing good values is not easy. Passing bad values or copying bad values is very easy because human beings has the habit, has the nature to uh, take bad examples as good examples and follow them and uh, carry on these things throughout their lives. So therefore, it is very important for us to have as parents to set up this kind of positive morals and values as their inheritance for the children. So they, in each and every family, they have family norms, family values, uh, which are some, some of these values are universal, accepted and encouraged by the government, by the education, by the religious institutions. Nowadays, the children uh, is not hard working, physically not working. I recently read a medical journal, medical article, says that when people are not using their motor skills, the bodily skills, they are not using that much their energy in the for bodily activities, their level of intelligence will also go down. Nowadays, the children are using iPhones, mobiles and all the devices and they have less and less physical activities. If you look at the human history, if you look at the human nature, that all these human evolution through the human activities, they are, the growth of their brain was increased. So, now I, I feel like we are going down in the human evolution and we are come to a stage where people are getting more and more sick because they have less and less physical activities and also less and less intelligent because of less and less activities. So, it is very important to actively uh, participate the worldly things or household things in the household life. So, one part of the good parenting, positive parenting is the taking, giving responsibilities. We can learn very good example from the eagle's life. <coughs> there is a type of eagle in, a, in different countries. They are very, very big eagles. And when they want to meet with this eagle and to have a family, what the female eagle do is 
she flies high into the sky and she carries a stick and she drop this stick high in the sky then any eagle who is male eagle interested in this female eagle will fly around her and when she drop this uh, stick the male eagle swoop down and come down very quickly and catch the uh, stick and he will bring back the stick again and he do few times and many times and the same is repeated by the male eagle and eventually she choose him as her partner and they will build a nest and they will uh, cushion with their little feathers the nest and their legs once their legs the lady bird will hatch the eggs and the male eagle will go to bring the prey and the food for the wife and once these hatch are uh, finished when the chicks came out then they will begin to feed but once their feathers are on the body of the eagle the male eagle and the female eagle will stop feeding them they will bring the food but they will go to a different branch of a tree and they will not feed the uh, their chicks and they will eat alone then the these baby chicks will try to come to their mother and they will fall down and the male eagle go down uh, quickly and bring the chicks up to the nest so similarly when they see that they are not feeding they will begin to learn to fly so similarly when in our daily life we need to uh, check that our children we are not mouth fed we are not going to like uh, feed him from the spoon what we need is to give them responsibilities and we will teach them how to do it and it is their responsibility how to do it therefore we need to understand that the children need to give responsibilities from young age when they are very young montessori stage when they are in the preschool stage when they are in the primary stage there should be different different responsibilities small small responsibilities handed over given to the children so that they will have a kind of confidence kind of responsibility and they are happy to do it once they they finish their responsibility as parents you need to praise them and also we need to build the children's uh, mentality way of thinking i have a very short story once there was a child in a italian family this uh, this person was a chef and his son was coming to he was working in the hotel all the time he cannot uh, come to see the ch- child in the high school uh, and he always complaining father i can't do this i can't this i am having this problem that problem all that then the one day this chef asked his son to come to his hotel and he came up to the school and uh, this father put three uh, kind of uh, sauce pan and put some water he put some carrot into the one pot he put some uh, uh, coffee beans to another pot and he put uh, eggs onto another pot and he boiled them then asked the son you check each and every one he see that carrot is soft and the egg is hard and the coffee beans hasn't changed anything but it has changed the color of the water so then the father said dear son in our life there are heat water you know hot water coming to our life heated problem is coming to your life it is how you respond to them how you react to them is important this carrot was hard when it was put in the cold water when it is boiled it's become soft and this uh, egg was very fragile but they become hard through the hot water and also the coffee beans is hard and it change the nature of the uh, water so similarly 
you must respond like the coffee bean, coffee beans. You must be able to uh, accept the challenges, take the challenges, and change your life situation. So this kind of value should be passed to our children so that they can build their life for better future. So the best parenting is to give responsibility, give their uh, guidance, and build their own uh, relationship, build their own life in a way they want. You don't try to build your own values to the, these children. So dear friends, may the Buddha, Dhamma and Sangha guide you and protect you and bless you.